And welcome to Elaine A. Powers Reptile Side Chat. Today, we're going to discuss how you tell the difference between girl tortoises and boy tortoises. Now, when I wrote my book, Don't Call Me Turtle, I didn't go into the differences between male and female tortoises and how they're different from male and female turtles. But today we're going to take a look in so that you'll know when you see a tortoise how to sex it. For my example, I'll be using red-footed tortoises. I have several in my house and they were eager to participate in today's exhibition. First, we'll start with the female. This is Gladiola and she is a female red-footed tortoise. Now, the way you tell the difference is this notch in their plastron. The top of a tortoise, and a turtle for that matter, is called a carapace, whereas this piece on the bottom is called the plastron. Now, female tortoises have this V-shaped notch uh, over their tail, and that is characteristic of a female tortoise. Sorry, I have to grab the exhibits. They were not waiting patiently. So I had to corral them. Now this is Rose, and he is a male redfoot tortoise. Now the, there are two differences. One is you can see that the notch above the tail is much wider. Um, it's not that V-shaped, it's sort of a, a curved line. But another thing you'll notice is that his plastron is somewhat concave. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. And this is so that the male can fit on the back of the female's shell. The mating takes place with the cloaca in the tail. They put their tails together to uh, do the insemination so that then the female can lay the eggs. Now, when you get a young tortoise, take him away. It actually takes several years before you can sex them so that you can't buy a baby tortoise and, and know what sex they're going to be. And you can see that in this little guy or girl, I don't know yet. And you can see there, there's no clear notch on the tail so that you can tell if it's a male or female. And it will be many years before the tortoise is big enough to be sexed. So until then, uh, you can use a, a gender non-specific name for your tortoises, or you can guess um, and wrongly like I did naming uh, a male tortoise rose, but a, a rose works for either sex. Now the differences between the tortoises and the turtles, and I'm going to use Trevor Box turtle for this example. Trevor, I know is a male because only, he'll stick his little head out, only male box turtles have the red irises. So if you see a box turtle with a colorful iris, you know it's a male because the females just have the dark irises. But if you look at his plastron, you'll notice that there is not that notch that you saw with the tortoises. It's a smooth, complete shell on the bottom. The only way you can tell, other than the eye color, is that he is also has a concave plastron so that he can fit on the back of the female turtle as well. Um, unfortunately, in my household, I don't have a female for him, so he does actually try to mount the much larger tortoises. Uh, they don't take kindly to that, and on more than one occasion, they have flipped him over on his back and spun him like a top. 
So, you know, you have to be careful. Those females can be uh, very mean when the suitor is not to their liking. So once again, telling the differences between a male and a female tortoise. The female has that V-shaped notch. If I can see it up close and personal. Um, it fits right around the tail. It's very definitely a V or a, a tight U-shaped. Whereas the males have a much wider opening around the base of the tail. So and you can all and once again he has the concave back of the plastron so that he'll fit on top of the females so they can line up their tails so while i have these lovely tortoises out today let's discuss another aspect of tortoises that is really quite a surprise to me every time i hear it and that's people thinking that the shells do not have feeling that this is just somehow dead matter that the tortoise is carrying around. Remember in tortoises, in order to grow, they put in material between each of the scoots. So it has to be living material if it's being deposited and the scoots are being expanded outward. Um, it's the same material as your fingernails, it's keratin. And so uh, you can tell if it's had a good year because the rings in between the scoots will be bigger than if it's been a lean year and they didn't get much food. Um, so yes, this is living material. This is just like your skin. So a lot of people think that tortoises aren't beautiful enough. I personally think they are. I think they're quite lovely, just as they are. And they will want to color them. You know, they got little lines. that lets me each scoot um, a different color. Don't do that. Um, you'll be covering up living tissue and you'll kill it. And if you put on enough paint and damage the shell enough, because you will permanently damage it by painting it, you will also kill the tortoise. So you don't want to do that. Admire the tortoises. You know, he has a magnificent head. Great head coloring there. Um, admire them for the beauty that nature provided them. So that's today's talk. Uh, remember how to tell the difference between a male and a female. Males have the wide notch at the base. Females have the tighter, more U or V-shaped uh, notch. And they also have the nice flat plastron. That's right. That's your word for the day. Plastron. That's the bottom shell of a tortoise or a turtle because they actually do have the same. So thank you for tuning in, and I hope you liked learning the difference between the boy tortoises and the girls' tortoises. Do sign up for my newsletter at elaineapowers.com. Check out the tortoise and turtle-themed workbooks at lyricpower.net, and also check out my YouTube channel at Elaine Powers or Curtis Curly Tail Speaks. Thank you. Goodbye from Elaine A. Powers' Reptile Side Chat. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. And subscribe. Every time you comment or share one of my videos, it helps me make more videos. And the more videos I make, the more people we reach. And the more people who know about reptiles, the more they'll want to protect them. It's a win-win. Goodbye for now from Elaine A. Powers and Myrtle, the Redfoot Tortoise.